It has been two weeks since we told you about the first person to have died from the coronavirus, a man in his 50s with underlying health problems right here in Washington state. It was also the first known coronavirus fatality in the entire nation. Tonight, this state has reported 40 deaths among 642 confirmed cases. More than 7,100 people have tested negative for the virus but the effort continues to slow the spread of it. Schools closed, big events canceled, and people are working from home. That's all part of social distancing to flatten the curve. But what does that mean exactly, flattening the curve? Well, take a look at this graphic. So the dotted line is the healthcare system's capacity. With social distancing, experts hope that the number of COVID-19 patients can stay under that dotted line. And that big bell curve you see, that's how high COVID cases might get without social distancing. So by putting in the effort to social distance yourself, the hope is that the amount of cases is lowered and that big curve gets flatter and not overwhelm our hospitals. UW Medicine is joining other local hospitals in postponing elective surgeries. That's to help with the response to COVID-19 cases. Today, UW Medicine announced that it is postponing elective and non-urgent surgeries and procedures through the end of the month. UW Medicine fatal or facilities, excuse me, include the University of Washington Medical Center, Harborview Medical Center, and Valley Medical Center. Well, this week, the country's top infectious disease doctor says that the nation's system is not geared to what is needed when it comes to testing for coronavirus. Dr. Anthony Fauci told lawmakers that the nation's system is failing. The idea of anybody getting it easily the way people in other countries are doing it, we're not set up for that. Do I think we should be? Yes, but we're not. Today, NBC showed us long lines for testing in Colorado and New York State. Check out all those cars waiting in line. Well, back here on the West Coast, a Seattle man says he wants to be tested. Cannot get tested. <laughs> um, and uh, there is no testing available for anyone in uh, my situation. Uh, basically, that means that since I have not been in contact with a known positive test case, NBC reports testing capacity got a boost with the FDA giving the go-ahead to pharmaceutical giant Roche. The company's labs have 400,000 test kits all ready to ship this weekend. Well, up to 20 more staff members at Life Care Center in Kirkland are being tested for coronavirus. The center put out an update this afternoon saying that additional staff was tested this morning. Public health officials say, to their knowledge, all of the residents there have been tested. The senior living facility has been at the center of the outbreak right here in Washington. And of the 35 deaths reported in King County, 27 of them are associated with the life care center. Fire Station 21 in Kirkland had been a quarantine site for firefighters, but they have been released from quarantine and the station reopened tonight. The station received a professional deep clean cleaning, even though no firefighters that were quarantined there tested positive for COVID-19. The city of Kirkland says 30 firefighters have been released from their recommended quarantine period, but there are still a dozen firefighters who remain in quarantine tonight. New tonight, Governor Jay Inslee dispels a rumor which has been circulating. We even received a few phone calls about it tonight. So the governor posted this message on Twitter. It says, while fighting COVID-19, we must also fight against rumors and false information. Let me be clear, neither me or my staff are engaged in conversations to quarantine or seal off any part of Washington state. Well, concerns over the coronavirus have people stockpiling at the store and state health officials are reminding everyone to, you know, leave some for their neighbor. Our Tony Black has more on this. Viewers sent us photos of long lines and entrances roped off at Costco's in Tacoma and Woodenville this week. And it's a similar story at many grocery stores nationwide as everyone's trying to get supplies during the coronavirus outbreak. There was a police presence at the Woodenville Costco and employees were out front doing crowd control. A whiteboard was also set up listing wipes, paper towels, and toilet paper as out of stock. Many stores are now capping the number of items that one can buy. The idea of stockpiling is a way to feel in control about a situation that feels out of control. It's a way to feel like, I know no matter what happens, I will not run out of what I need. The Washington Department of Health sent out a release reminding people to leave some for their neighbors, saying that stockpiling supplies does more harm to those who may actually need the supplies. And instead of so much toilet paper, officials recommend stockpiling up on items like canned foods, beans, and fruit, or pasta and frozen foods that will last. 
Tony Black, King 5 News. Save supplies for those who need it. And while some businesses have been closing in the pandemic, some stores are actually getting so much business that they need more workers. And we'll have more information on that in just a few minutes. In the meantime, two popular ski resorts will be closing their mountains because of the coronavirus. So Vail Resorts, which operates Stevens Pass, as well as Whistler Blackcomb, will be closing its peaks tomorrow. And the company that owns Crystal Mountain, Altera, has decided to do the same thing. So in our area, Stevens Pass, Crystal, they will be closed beginning tomorrow. And for the resort staying open, they are making some changes to follow state guidelines for reducing crowd sizes. And that includes Summit at Snoqualmie, who just made the call tonight that they are suspending all ticket sales until further notice. So Summit will be open for pass holders only.